This right here is a boxed copy of Football Manager 2022. You know me, I'm a collector. Uh, I've seen this on the game collection nice and cheap a few weeks ago. So I got this pre-ordered. It came with a lovely little um, Football Manager notebook as well. But uh, what it also came with is a code to download the game. So we are going to be doing a Football Manager 2022 giveaway. All you need to do to enter is get involved down in the comment section to this video or the uh, the today's uh, Championship to Champions League video. So yeah, have a little look at, uh, at that and hopefully you will win. I will pick one comment. Um, tell me how you found the channel and uh, what is your favourite all-time series on Captain Goodsby. Let me know down in the comments and that will enter you for the giveaway for the code to FM22. But uh, hello and welcome back to my Newcastle United Let's Play. Hello to Tom, by the way, uh, SI Games or former SI Games employee Tom, uh, who said he was enjoying the series. Wonderful to to hear. I really do appreciate it. So thank you very much uh, for the, the kind words and, and all the best for your next adventure. Uh, the lucky headphones are on, as we said. And uh, we have got our final two matches of the season today. We've got uh, one against Brentford and then uh, the, the most overpowered team in Football Manager history, Watford, because we all know that Miles supports Watford, so therefore they get an extra um, little boost. But uh, you can see that's not really helping them this season. Uh, they are down in 21st. They could still avoid relegation, believe it or not, but it's going to be... A tough old journey. Since you were last with me, things have gone reasonably well. So uh, you s last seen us with the Arsenal match that we lost 3-2, uh, and that was a, a disappointment. We then lost 2-1 to Leicester City, but we have followed that up with three back-to-back -back wins. One against Liverpool, who are top of the table. Zlatan Ibrahimovic gets his first goal for the club, and Balotti getting a brace there. We then beat Sheffield United 3-2 with Balotti, Moutinho and Declan Rice on the score sheet, and then most recently we beat Southampton 4-2 with Andrea Balotti getting a hat-trick, and Giovanni Reina also on the score sheet. That all means that going into the final two matches, we are correct Currently in sixth position in the table. Uh, three points adrift of Arsenal, who are in fourth. Obviously, we've got two games to go. Arsenal are playing uh, Everton in their final game away from home. That's a, a tricky little tie. Uh, Chelsea are the, the other team we're battling. They're playing Leicester away today and then Aston Villa away on the final day of the season. And, of course, we've got Brentford and Watford. So it is going to be a, a, a toss of the coin, really, of who gets that Champions League place. I would certainly take a Europa League place. Aston Villa are, are going to have something to say as well. It's a great battle. Four teams are battling for the Champions League spot. Uh, and then, you know, you've got this relegation mess down here with five teams anywhere from... could West Brom could finish bottom. Um, no, they couldn't. They could finish 19th, though. So it, a crazy relegation battle and a crazy European battle. We will have a look, as always, at squad performances at the end of the episode. However, we will be doing a transfer special uh, in the next episode that you see. Getting ready for Season 3. So, let's have a little look at the team for today. I've went ahead and picked it already. We have got uh, Kakia starting in goal with Kunde, Tamori and Le Nomand in defence. We've then got Corona and Richards as our wing-backs uh, with Moutinho and Willock in the middle of the park. And Giovanni Reyna starting behind Calvert-Lewin and Andrea Bellotti up top. So let's get into the action then. And this is going to be my first game on the, the full release. Which, you know, might change everything. Who knows? Of course they... They will have updated things between the beta and the release. This is the first official version of the game. So, no idea. It may well all go wrong. We may get beat 6-0 by Brentford today. We might go out there and win 6-0. I have no idea. Uh, I am starting to think about a different tactic going into Season 3 with Newcastle. Maybe something a little bit more attacking. Utilising uh, the amount of good strikers that we've got at the club. But... We'll see. We'll see how t 
to Diego's, first of all. What on earth was that from Corona? He just threw it back to them. That was terrible. Here's Isco. Gets it to Ivan Tony now. Here's uh, Halil. Halil. Now here's uh, Onyeka. And uh, Corona gets it back. Corona now to Kunde. Clears it. Calvert-Lewin gets it to Balotti, but couldn't quite get there with it, unfortunately. Here's uh, Aya. Now to Isco. Styles over the top. Here's uh, Embuemo. Embuemo. And Isco scores. It scores. Eighth goal of the season. And ridiculously, the Brentford attacker midfielder Isco has put them 1-0 up. And that is a, a big shame. So we are going to berate the boys now and hopefully get them going just before half time. It would be, would be pretty naff to lose today against Brentford. It really would and would almost seal our fate finishing in seventh. So we're going to go attacking now and hope that we can get back into this match. Leicester City have equalised against Chelsea, so they're struggling as well. Aston Villa seem to be winning their match, which is a big shame. But uh, here we are at half-time. We're going to thrash our arms about and we're going to say, aren't you a load of naughty boys? Swap them two round. Put Andrea Bellotti as the pressing forward. Giovanni Reina not having a great game. Neither is Gian Martino. Uh, Corona's having a terrible game. So we're going to bring him off for Kieran Trippier and hope that that is enough to make the difference in the second half. What we are going to do is swap that to a later scores just for today. Here's Richards. Gets it to, towards Moutinho, but doesn't do anything with it. Here's Halil. Oh, we've got it back. And that's a great ball forward. Andrea Bellotti now. Will he drag it back? That should have done a lot better there. Here he is again, though. Moutinho. Calvert-Lewin scores. And it is one all now, but the referee has blown his whistle. Is it going to be offside? It's not. It is a goal awarded. That is exactly what you want to see. Um, yeah, Halil, I don't know what he was doing. Bellotti got it. Then to Moutinho, who chipped it in towards Calvert-Lewin. And it is one all now. Back in the match. That is exactly what we wanted to see. Here's Omar Richards pushing down this left-hand side. Gets it to Reyna. Reyna on the ball. Shoots. Oh! Well, it just seemed to keep on right, and that was a crazy shot. Didn't quite uh, challenge the keeper enough, though. Andrea Bellotti, he's going to come off now. We're going to stick on uh, Barbosa and swap them two round and hope that Barbosa can do something nice in that advanced forward position. But... Well, is this going to be our free kick? It is, and it's going to be João Martinho with that free kick. He curls it, and that is just wide of the post. That was seriously close from João Martinho. 20 minutes to go. Where do we make the change? I suppose it's got to be Giovanni Reina that comes off. Who do we pop in instead? I think maybe, maybe just maybe we go... Hmm. We're going to go Loftus-Cheek. I don't know what's telling me to go Loftus-Cheek, but something is. So that's exactly what we're doing. And we're going to encourage the boys and hopefully get them over the line in this last 10 minutes. And, just yeah, is Loftus-Cheek going to be the man that gets us over the line? This would virtually guarantee that we are not going to qualify for the Champions League if we did get the draw. It's not going to happen, is it? Leicester have beaten Chelsea as well. It looks like other results have gone our way. But we have not got the three points. That is... That is awful. That is awful. And it's difficult to tell. Was that a purely performance issue? Oh, Arsenal beat Man City earlier today as well. That's a, a disaster. Aston Villa beat Everton. Yeah. And we're now only in the driving seat for seventh place. It's not great, is it? Okay then, the team for the final day of the season, pretty much exactly the same uh, other than we've brought in Bukayo Saka at left back instead of... Omar Richards. Totally forgot who played for us there, but there you go. Uh, so let's grab ourselves a pint and <laughs> go and stand in the dugout. 
and hope that we can give the fans something to cheer today. We still do have the, the, the chance, the possibility of finishing fourth. It's going to be very unlikely, though, let's be honest. So let's get the latest scores up before we do anything else. So who we want to keep an eye on is Chelsea uh, against Aston Villa. Although, to be fair, we want them to draw. Um, and even if they... Well, no, we would finish above Villa. Uh, we want So if Chelsea and Villa draw and Arsenal lose to Everton and we win, we will finish fourth. So we can do that. We can do that. Saka gets it to Calvert-Lewin. He has Willock. Saka again. Doesn't do anything with it, though. Here's Kenny. Now to Blazic. What we didn't look at is whether Watford can still survive. Are they playing for anything? Any sort of pride? Or are they playing for their place in, in the Premier League? Here's uh, Lyko Giannis. Now Har Harit to Lyko Giannis. Ozan Tufan. Oh, loses it. Here's Calvert-Lewin now. Calvert-Lewin pushing forward. What can he do with it? He's... Been fouled. He's been hacked down. Is that gonna be a penal, Jeff? We have to look at VAR for this. Is it gonna be inside or outside the box? This is huge. No penalty. It's a free kick outside the area. Can Giovanni Reina do something special from this position? He can score. It's gonna be João Matinho. He gets it in. Tamori was there. Couldn't do anything with it though, and it's a. Uh, it is a pity. Because that, that could have been an early chance. Leeds United 1-0 up at Norwich City. Watford are down, by the way. So, let's go attacking. I think that's going to be the, the best way forward here. Everton are 1-0 up against Arsenal. Moutinho into the middle. Bologna's there! And it is 1-0. Is it offside? Is it offside? I think he might have just sneaked offside. And he did. Oh, that is devastating. Everton the 2 0 up against Arsenal, so it's not looking likely that Arsenal are going to qualify for the Champions League. Uh, we need to keep an eye on the Villa Chelsea game. If they draw and we win, we are going to be in Champions League position. Right, here's Tamori. Gets it forward to Willock now. Willock forward to Bellotti. Here's Calvert Lewin with the shot. Doesn't do anything though. Kunde with the header. Here's Reyna. Reyna to Kunde to Moutinho. Kunde again over the top. Calvert Lewin. What a goal that is from Dominic Calvert Lewin. But again, the ref not on our side today. VAR. Oh, and the goal is disallowed. This is ridiculous. Let's have a look at this. Oh, and he was just offside. Wow. We could have been 2-0 up here. However, it's still 0-0. This is, this is absolutely crazy. The lucky headphones. We are cashing in all of their worth here. He has Corona down the right-hand side. Bellotti to Reyna. Reyna forward. Calvert-Lewin. How has he missed that? How has he missed that? Goodness me. It's going to be Moutinho, who whips it into the middle. Koundé's there. Can't do anything with it. Reyna, Moutinho again. Reyna, Moutinho. And it's a Corona with a shot, and it's another shot on target. But unfortunately for us, it is still 0-0. Everton now 3-0 up against Arsenal. Right. I think we need to make a change. I'm, I'm not... They're saying that they're having a good game. Reyna, I don't know. Trippier is going to come on for Corona again. Why not try it again? Come on. We really, really do need the goal here. Oh, Jovic is injured for Chelsea. I thought that was going to be a red card. What we want is just Chelsea and Villa to draw 0-0. Um, DCL is going to come off. We're going to put Jamie Vardy on. Jamie Vardy is going to be our saviour, I believe. And if you guys believe it too, it might just happen. Who knows? Come on, 25 minutes to go here. Let's encourage them. Here's Kenny. Now, uh, Queena to Kenny again. Kenny. Two fan back to the goalkeeper. It's away. We're going to get there first. Leno man to Moutinho. Now to Trippier. To Vardy. Jamie Vardy on the ball. 
Jamie Vardy's still going. Whips it in. Balotti hits the post. Balotti hits the post. 20 minutes to go. We need to do something here. Reina not doing well. Oh, I can't put Zlatan on. It's got to be Dahlberg. Or do we go Barbosa? Maybe we go Barbosa. And then three up top. Yeah. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Right. Dolberg for Tamori. We're gonna we're gonna go two at the back. We're gonna shove him up top. This this could be a disaster. It really could be. However, it could be a genius move. Pressing forward on attack. Because at the end of the day, if we lose this match, it doesn't really matter. It won't change anything. Um Right, we want Rainer back. How do I... Right. So, Reina. Back there. And then Tamori off for Barbosa. And that's what we're going for. Swap them two round. And hope for the best. Three up top. For these final 20 minutes. Come on, boys. Are we going to qualify for the Champions League? Here's Trippier. Trippier to Gabby Barbosa. Barbosa to Willock. Willock forward to Bellotti, but can't do anything with it. Here's Sissoko. Are we going to be caught out at the back? Here's uh, Saar. Sissoko gets it forward to Saar. Oh, that should have been 1 0 Watford. It should have been 1 0 Watford. We have got 10 minutes left. Oh, Chelsea are 1 0. Oh, no. So we now need to win at least 3-0. This is ridiculous. Right. We need to pump the ball into the box, don't we? Distribute over defence. Oh, 10 minutes to go. Right, here's Moutinho. Gets it forward. Belotti's there. Oh, Vardy. How have you missed that, son? Moutinho, another corner. Whips it in. Leno Mand over the bar. It's not going to happen. Chelsea are 2-0 up. It's all a disaster. We're not even going to finish in the top six. Oh. We're going to be in the Conference League of all places. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that is a disaster. 32 shots we had. 11 on target. 2.72 XG. Two disallowed goals. It just was never going to happen, was it? Well, I suppose the only consolation is that Chelsea did win their match. Um, we would have finished fifth. So it would have been Europa League, but seventh place isn't good enough for a team like Nick Newcastle United. Sixty-seven points, two points off Champions League places. That is a sore one to take. Watford go down, <sighs> but you just look at that. Everton absolutely thumped Arsenal, three 0 They did what we needed them to do. Chelsea. Left it late against Aston Villa, but did get the job done. And that is looking like a very familiar top four. Aston Villa will be disappointed as well. They were in the in the driving seat for fourth position once Arsenal were losing. And there you go. Oh, no. Belotti now wants to leave. That is a disaster. How many league goals has he scored this season? 21. 21 Premier League goals. It's his best season since 2016-17. Uh, 
How's he looking on the Premier League stats table? Um, actually, only fifth. <laughs> that is how ridiculous Man United are. 33 goals for Cristiano Ronaldo at the age of 30, uh, 38. That is ridiculous. Wow. He's not for sale. Greenwood is wanted. Who by Bayern Munich? But Mason Greenwood, 29 goals for him. That's disgusting. Um, right, what do we say to Bellotti then? But yeah, we've had a, a poor day today. A draw. Well, we've drawn both matches, haven't we? We could have quite easily went and won both and we would have fi easily finished top four. Bottle job. Bottle job, that's what it was. What a pity. Right, I'm disappointed you've broken the promise. I mean, it's not exactly breaking a promise when you had umpteen chances in the last match to get us Champions League football. You messed up, son. Um, um, I hope you can accept it and we can start to rebuild. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Team leader meeting. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bellotti has said, if you think you need to go about your job like this in order to be an effective, then I guess you're justified in doing so. That is hilarious. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, we've received 27 million for that. I mean, I'm just in a little bit of shock. I don't even know are we are we going to get the con Oh no, Tottenham got the Conference League. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it's not the worst result that we've ended up without European football. I'd rather no European football than finishing 7th and getting Conference League, if I'm honest. But uh, draw specialists. I mean, ourselves in Tottenham, if we turned some more of those uh, draws into wins, we would have been well up the table. But yeah, that is that. Uh, let's have a quick look at uh, squad performances before we end off uh, the episode. Top goal scorer for the season is Andrea Bellotti, who is wanted by Tottenham. Um, that's a tricky one. 18 goals for Dominic Calvert-Lewin, who's wanted by Tottenham, Man United, Man City, Leicester. So he's going to be tough to hold on to. Six goals for Giovanni Reina was the next best. And that's kind of where our problem is. We've got quite a lot of great players in the squad, but not really as many pulling their way. And that's why I'm thinking of a different sort of tactical direction Going into season three, top assists is ten for Giovanni Reina, eight uh, for Bukayo Saka, uh, six each for Corona Richards and Moutinho. Top average rating is Giovanni Reina with a seven point three zero, a seven point two eight there for Andrea Bellotti and a seven point two eight for Jao Moutinho, seven point two five for Dominic Calvert Lewin. Not too bad at all. Uh, we do have a couple of contracts expiring in the summer. Loftus Cheek will go back to Chelsea. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Realistically, I don't think I'm going to renew his contract. As much as I've liked having him in the squad and it has been fun, he really hasn't done a, a lot at all. Um, so he will be released at the end of the year. And I'm sure he'll go and play maybe in America again do something there, I have no idea, Zlatan is Zlatan at the end of the day, and he will do what he wants, but uh, what a career he's had, 410 goals, and wow, yeah, we'll, we'll see, uh, a few contracts expiring at the end of next year, we've got Moutinho, Trippier, uh, Wilson will be going, Lascelles, Corona, uh, maybe we want to renew Corona's 
um, contract, although since he, since he's come back from injury, he really has been poor. Javi Mankio will be going at the end of next year as well. Calvert-Lewin, only two years left on his contract. So we possibly want to do a little bit of business contract-wise over the summer just to make sure people are locked down. Uh, but that will all be made clear in the next episode. So we'll continue up. We'll see if we get any sort of budget. I have no idea whether we will be given that information. Um, yes, here we go. So let's have a little look. Uh, I can go into that again, can't I? Yeah. So we'll do the season review next episode. You can see there's the expectations meeting. Um, but again, don't seem to be getting any sort of budgets. Um, let's have a little look at the 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 the, vis the vision. So the end of next season, they want us to qualify for the Europa League. That's fine. Uh, Recognised as best of the rest. After that, win a domestic cup. Um, UEFA Champions League in 2027. I mean, that all seems fine. Minimum of four-year contracts for first-team players. That's a bit of an odd one. Um, but that's all good. And then we got the end-of-season team meeting. Uh, it does say 38.5 million there. It's usually a lot more than that. So we'll see in the next episode. For the transfer special for Season 3, what do you think we need going forward? Who do you suggest we sign? Let me know. And you can get yourself in with a chance of getting Football Manager 2022. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free to do and you won't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.